how style interact okay so there will be two things will be there okay the conflict so happens is nothing but because there will be three different ways of style sheets are there one is author created user defined and default browser style sheet okay author created style sheet can be defined multiple rules for the same html elements so you can provide font size you can provide the font type you can provide font uh, weight so everything you can provide so that multiple property you can provide okay so css has some helper to browser to determine how to display the element with the when the different rules are conflicts okay the rules or conflicts are nothing but maybe in in your inline also you provided the rule in external also you provided rule in embedded also you given the rules okay that time which rule it should take so that's what uh, the uh, the topic okay so here you can i'll tell okay cascade principles there are three principles are there in css which it helps us to deal with the conflicts okay so that problem we can deal by here okay one is inheritance specificity and uh, location first i'll tell inheritance okay inheritance are nothing but many but not all css profit affected not only themselves but their descendant as well that means some of the problem, for example if you apply for the division okay so that will applicable to whatever inside the division also not all the property some of the property will affect it so that will call it as inherit if some property is not affected means okay so that time we can use one keyword called inherit it may apply which and all that means okay for example font okay color list text property these are all uh, inheritable that means no need to do inheritance okay apply the inheritance it is inheritable that means so if you apply a particular property for division okay, think that in you specify division uh, id equal to some id given first so for that first id if you apply some font color list text property and all which your property will specify in your uh, uh, paragraph whatever inside in a division that is applicable to all that particular this one okay so that is about font color list text property in apply but if you see the sizing border background spacing okay these are all there right so it will not applicable to the particular property it is applicable to that tag only okay it is not uh, inheritable okay so in, i'll tell here so you can see the example here and okay header part is there then body part is there okay in the body part okay maybe you applied a property for body direct okay font family color okay border and margin so in this one okay you can see border and margin these two properties are not inherited but font family and color that means if you apply uh, here here you have h1 tag p tag you have h3 tag or do any different tags are there in, a, in all the tag okay you can check the color of the font is red so that means the property is inherited then you can see the font family uh, arial okay all the font type is arial okay but you can see there is no border only border is for body only the border they given 8 px solid green is for the uh, body only there is no separate border for each paragraph and all okay so that's why the some of the properties are inherited some of the properties will not be inherited in it here you can see some of the how we can make that inheritance use of the inheritance keyword okay it is possible to tell uh, tell the element to inherit property that are normally not inheritable that means we can tell okay so so just see here division inside division okay here we have two division okay so here this is just style in a top to this one the code will be here h3 division then division okay there are two divisions are there inside two division there will be two paragraph followed by one heading okay so here you can see what happened is uh, the, they apply the property font color and uh, font family this two will be inherited directly but you can see the border and margin is not inherited to do that one what we have to do is okay you can see here division we return inside the division because we have two division here okay we need to just uh, the use of the inheritance so font weight bold okay so it will directly applicable no need to make the inner but margin and border this two will not inherited okay by using it will not directly inherited but we need to use the keyword call in it so you can see here okay for the paragraph to apply the same property so we need to use p okay 
so we need we need to use p border so instead of writing the this one one pt is already given we need to just write inherit okay so that time it will inheritance will use so like in your uh, c uh, c++ and all will use right inheritance so same thing you'll write class a inherit class b like that so here also same thing border colon inherit that means it will inherit the property of the division its parent okay so by default okay some of the property will inherit some of the property will not inherit okay so here you can see the this is without inheritance okay we are not applied any inheritance here okay for the border and margin okay if you apply only for the body there will be conflicts so it will not applicable to other tax like h1 whatever inside inside the body you return some of the tax so it is not applicable to that tax to do that one okay so we need to inherit the property okay so we need to write the like p border inherit so that time it will inherit the property of the division okay so this is how the inheritance will work okay so next is the okay, specificity is how the browser in determine uh, which style rule uh, take the precedence uh, when one or more style rules could be applied in the same element okay so when you apply the same rule for the uh, like uh, for the particular element okay so which one should take so that is more important okay so specificity is the name like specific the selector more specific the selector more it take the precedence okay so here the way uh, that the specificity works in the browser is that okay assign a weight for each style rules okay when a several rules applies one of the uh, greatest weight takes the precedence that means which is the more precedence it will take that one when you apply the same property for the similar property for the particular uh, uh, element which is having more precedence it will take that one which is having less it will not take that one okay so here you can see one the simple example okay so here you can see body okay observe it properly so this is in the right hand side they given the code in the left hand side they given the property okay this one simple uh, code okay this is having uh, one of the paragraph called uh, in the primary paragraph okay then uh, body tag so inside the body tag they are not written anything okay just one text is there then p tag is there then division inside division there is two tag okay one is p one more is p see then one more there is no tag at all okay there is some text is there then again division okay so again in the last division they have one class selector and one more see you can see here class equal to last and id equal to very last okay so just observe the co uh, code here and output you need to observe so that you will understand it properly so specificity is nothing but which precedence should higher precedence it will take okay now you can see body they apply the font weight equal to bold color equal to red okay font weight equal to just observe here so in the first text is there right okay so that will be inside body this is not p tag this text is not written in in a p element that, that is just one line they written after body will display in bold with red color but you can see here inside p review is there right so reviews so which color review will display so you can see p color green so that means whatever p is there it will display in green color now you come here division okay so this is very important so division okay there are two p tags are there definitely p tag we given green color but there is one more line is there in division at the end last third line this line is not written within p element okay so that last line we are not written inside the p element that is just written the text some of the text so that that division okay see it properly inside the division okay there is p tag two p tag and one more the just paragraph okay but for the division we applied the color okay color is equal to magenta so that time whatever you write inside the division okay other than the p tag okay the text okay it will display in magenta you see here division okay p class okay p uh, class equal to last okay last class okay so you can see the color equal to blue so that line will display in blue okay, next you can see p okay this is very important okay here whenever you specify Uh, class and id okay we have to the id which is having more precedence okay uh, if you compare with the class 
ID which is having more present. So that means it will refer to very last. Okay, it will come in or class selectors are the more specific than the element selector. Thus, the take the precedence or the element selector. Okay, class selector is having the more specific than the element selector, but ID selectors are the more specific than the class selector. So that means when are I applied the ID and class for the uh, same uh, tag. So that time what happened? It will first it will uh, override the property of your element because P also I applied one property called green. So green also it will not come again. Uh, class equal to last. What happened? In class equal to last again uh, it will override the property of the class selector. Okay, so it is more specific ID. ID is having higher precedence, so it will take it will go for the ID property. So that color will become orange, the last line. Okay, so that is very important. Specificity. Next is the location. Okay, when inheritance and specificity cannot determine the style precedence, the principles of location will be used. Okay, the principle of location is when the rule have the same specificity. Okay, then the latest are given more weight. Okay, the rule is having the like same specificity. That means latest which is having the are given the more weight. Okay, so I'll tell now. Just see here. Okay, in your example, this example you can see head is there in that two links that are okay. Textile sheets are there. Then one more. So this first uh, link there is given right. This external style sheet. The same for the ID sector. Okay, they return one more rule. Okay, called embedded style sheet. Okay, inside the header element using style tag. Then the inside the body again they return the ID equal to example again they return style color equal to red. Okay, that time what happened? Okay, so that time it will override the property of red. Okay, so that time again it is inline style sheet. So I applied the style sheet in three ways. The specificity is proper. But what happened? Locations based on the location. Now you need to decide which type of color. So can anyone guess what is the color of the that sample text? Even hash example. Okay, actually ID is uh, like P ID called example. They refer this line. Okay, color they given green. Okay, the same code also they return in the next CSS also. You can see the second CSS also they given style. Okay, user style sheet. Okay, in that also they given color equal to blue. So it will override the property. Again, now you can see in the inside your header tag. Okay, want it's coming to your inside the HTML. So that time again you given color equal to orange. Okay, it will override. Okay, then again the next they given color equal to magenta. It will override the property of orange. At the last, what I given ID P ID equal to example style color equal to red. So it will override the all the. It will override the property of your previous color like magenta. So that time at the end of your uh, execution of this code, okay, the, the sample text will display in red color. Okay, so remember, 